welcome to We Are Crafted in His Image. I'm here today with a little watercolor Wednesday. Um, this is a technique I have not done in a while. I know I have some tutor tutorials, some cards I've done on my blog in the past, um, but I thought this would be a fun one to revisit today. And so we're gonna do, we're gonna use watercolor, well basically we're gonna use color and water to make this fun uh, background. It's got a lot of texture, it's got a lot of a movement, a lot of depth. So we are gonna go ahead and make this really fun, easy background. Um, I'm going to start by using a piece of shimmery white cardstock. This is different than our basic white cardstock. If you try this technique with the basic white, um, you don't actually get a chance to smoosh the color around. It absorbs into the color or into the paper very quickly, and it's pretty much set as soon as you touch it to the paper. Whereas with this or with watercolor paper, um, you have some time to actually smoosh and move the color around. You have some movement time. Um, watercolor paper is even better than the shimmery white cardstock, but for today, uh, we're going to use shimmery white. So I am going to bring in. This is just a lid to um, an IKEA storage box that I have, but I'm going to use it to kind of contain some of my mess. Uh, I'm actually going to use two of them. So. So let me move this one aside. Right now what I need is you want to grab any of your photopolymer stamp sets and grab the uh, top plastic sheet off. You could use the bottom plastic sheet if you want. I try to get one that doesn't have a lot of um, creases and wrinkles in it, um, but it really doesn't matter if it does or not. So that's what we're going to use to apply our color onto our paper. Doesn't matter which stamp set you're going to use, makes no difference. You just want this piece of plastic. Um, if you don't have any photopolymer stamp sets, you can use just any piece of plastic off of packaging or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with this. And I'm going to grab some Melon Mambo ink. Um, you can use markers. You can use not blends, but you can use our uh, uh, water based, our Stampin' Write markers. However, I find that I get more intense color if I use it straight from the ink pad. So I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm just going to add some splotches of this Melon Mambo color onto the plastic, just like that. Okay. And. Then I'm going to grab, this is just water, so it's a little squirt bottle with water, so I'm going to squirt that on there. You do want a bit of water. I don't know if you can see the drops in the camera or not. Um, you don't want a huge puddle. I'm going to lift this up, see if you can see it better. You don't want a huge puddle of water, but you also want to make sure that all of that ink has been pretty well wet, okay? Um, put that back down so that it will stay focused when I do the next steps. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm just going to take my plastic piece here, we're going to flip it over upside down and set it on here and then very gently just kind of move and smoosh that water with the color all around your card, wherever you want it to go. Just kind of smoosh it around on there and then you're going to lift up. And yes, your paper is going to curl. That's okay. I'm going to pull some of that color off. Um, I should have, I could have taped this down to prevent that. And actually, I'm going to absorb some of this water right here. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that. So what I am going to do is, you can see, there's still some color on here. There's still some ink on my paper. So I'm going to take that and touch it down. I'm going to hold that like that. And I'm going to touch it down in more areas. Some right on top of where there's already color, and that'll make that color deeper in those areas. And some where it's white. But I do want to leave some white space still, because I still want to come in here with my Calypso Coral. Now here, the edge of my, my plastic must have been right there, because I have a straight line. I don't want that, so I'm going to come in and touch some color in that spot. Some more here. This is, this is the smooching part, rather than smooshing. I'm smooching the paper with this. There we go. Just kind of touch it down and then you want to let that dry. I'm actually going to pause the video and um, go over and use my heat tool to dry it and that way it'll flatten it back out again. So give me a second, I'll be right back. So I'm back and as you can see my paper has flattened out a little bit more. It's not totally flat but it'll make it a little bit easier for me now. Um, plus with it dry I'm going to go in and add a few more of these dots of color. I don't know if you can see them. Um, <coughs> with the other color being dry this will actually then lay on top and give, you, give us some more texture. There we go. And now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off because I'm going to come in now with some 
Calypso Coral. And I kind of want to fill in the coral in the areas where there's more white. And you have to remember you're doing this backwards because once you've put the color on here, you're then going to flip it over. So I want color in this area, over in here, um, kind of up in this area. So when I flip this, that means here and here and over in here. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to put some color on there and let's see what happens. <laughs> so I know I want some in that middle area. Here, let me move this so you can see and so I can reach better. I'll put some on here. Maybe some color over here. There we go. And give it a good squirt. And then bring this in. Flip over. And lay it down. And then smoosh it around. Try not to use your fingernail though, because your fingernail will actually leave lines in it. It'll it'll kind of push the color into the paper more in that area. And when you pull it up, you'll have you'll have some lines. There we go. Okay, now I want to let this dry before I touch it anymore with some more color. So I will be right back. Okay, so I am back, and as you can see, it's pretty much flat again. I am going to go ahead and do as we did before, flip this over, and just kind of touch some of those dots of color in different areas. Get a little, some dots here and there. Um, I do want this background to actually cover most of this back, this back um, background piece. There we go. And actually, I think I want a little more color. Well, let me see. Hold on. There we go. That'll work. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, there's one more step that I would like to do. You could actually leave it just like this, but I want to, again, give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more, I guess, depth of color. So you have some lighter, some darker, um, different shades of the same color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to, I need this back out here so I can do this without getting everything wet. I'm going to squirt into my hand and then I'm going to fling that color or the water, just plain water onto my background piece. And I'm going to let that dry naturally. And what it'll do is the water will pull, it'll actually like push the color away. You can actually see that happening right here. It pushes the color away from into the edges of the dots of color or dots of water. And again, it just gives us some more fun texture to go on our background piece. Um, let me hold this up. Let me move this onto manual. See if you can see. Can you see those dots of water where it is pulling the color away? So like that. Now I'm just going to let this dry and while it dries I can go ahead and clean this off really quick. Ooh, actually I might wait and finish cleaning that later. I want to make sure it's totally clean before I put it back in my stamp box. Um, and oh I just splattered everywhere. I was trying not to do that. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go ahead and put together a few things. So I have just a half sheet of cardstock in our basic black. I'm going to fold that in half on the score line that I already put on there. Then I'm gonna give it a burnish. And um, I don't have anything to stamp on the inside of this one, although, I'm, I, yeah, I'll leave it blank on the inside. So I just have a piece of white. This is our regular uh, basic white. Because obviously, unless you have a white gel pen, you're not gonna be able to write inside of there. Or white or silver, silver would be really pretty. Um, but I don't have any, so we're going to put a white piece in here and make it easier to write in. There we go. Mm. And then I have to wait for this to be totally dry before I do the next step. So I will be back in a few minutes again once it's all dry. Okay, so the paper's not dry, so let's go ahead and finish our quick, quick card. Most of the time was just spent waiting for the paper to dry. Now, because we did have this paper, it's a little bit warped, I am gonna put adhesive on all four edges just to make sure the edges stay down and flat once it's on my card. I don't usually do that, but yeah, when it's warped a little bit, you wanna make sure it's gonna stay flat. So then I'm gonna stick this on. Doesn't that look pretty against that dark black? 
I just love it. it makes those colors just pop there we go and like I said on this one I put my die cut right here in the center but I think on this one I'm going to do a little bit different um, and before I die cut this out I did apply some uh, adhesive sheet to the back which is going to make this so much easier I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and hopefully all those extra little pieces are going to come out with it there we go. A few of them might not, but I'm going to try and get them to come out. Come on. Off you guys go. There we go. Woo! I have pieces everywhere here. All right. There are still a few stuck on. Some of them you can just stick your finger to, and the adhesive on it was going to stick it to your finger. However, you don't want to be constantly touching that sticky, the adhesive, otherwise it's no longer going to stick to your card. So, while you could do it a few a few times, you want to try not to touch it too many, too much. Oh, this is a little bit time consuming. There we go. Oh, that one is there. And then I think I have two over here. Oh, that one came out. And there we go. Okay, got all those out. Oh, wait, I see two little ones. And now they're all stuck to my hand and I can't get them off. <laughs> okay, so I am going to put this off to this side because prior to doing this, I stamped a happy birthday. Okay, now once I've got this on, um, there's still some spots that are not up. You really want to give this a good burnish. You want to really push hard on that. Um, especially when you have a die that has very thin areas because when it goes through the die it tends to cup the center of it lifts it up a little bit and the adhesive doesn't touch unless you really get it pushed down okay and then as I said I stamped earlier some a happy birthday from the go to greeting set I love it it has happy birthday in three different sizes and thinking of you just a note um, thank you um, lots of different, you know, the, all the same sentiment, but different sizes to fit different cards. So I did the middle one, and I think, I think I'm going to cut this side on an angle. Let's see, I think I'm just going to cut it like that. And then this side, I'm going to cut straight. I think right there. And then I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals here. We're just going to put, <coughs> excuse me, one, two, and one more. One, two, three. I'm too lazy right now to cut them in half. There's my cup. One, two, three. Then, hmm, I think I want to go in all the way to the black. Make sure we're pretty straight. And if I need to, I can come along here. See, that's a little bit crooked. Use my black as a guide and cut it nice and straight. And there we have. I have two cards. One's just a blank note card. One is a birthday card. But I love this technique. It's just so fun. Each card, each background is always going to look different. There's no way to make them look the same. Um, but yeah, kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to play around and do this technique sometime. And until next time, God's love and blessings to you. Bye.